so we had to use an airport standby. There's pluggies. She fancy. So I'm in the back. We're on the max. Our alternate is in Orlando though. My company, my airline rented out Universal Studios. Cheers. Good morning, everyone. We are on the plane at 7.15 in the morning. Uh, it's currently 7.45. We're gonna start boarding here. He just came down and asked if we were ready to go, so I am in my boarding position, which is in the back of the plane. Of my favorite spot on the aircraft. Uh, it's 2.13 up to Chicago. He said it's gonna be kind of bumpy, so stay seated. And yeah, so the crew is really nice. Our sea, though, was a no-show today, so we had to use an airport standby. I hope everything's okay with them, but we have um, just the girl that was on airport standby, and she's with us for the rest of the trip, so yeah, but I am going to get organized back here and we're gonna start boarding. Also, I had, my hair was curly this morning, <laughs> but the Florida humidity uh, killed it. It was dead, dead, died, dead. We are, uh, we're, we're boarding, so we're, oh, gotta go, bye. Hello, Chicago. We're on the max, and look, there's pluggies. It's uh, boarding time, guys. We're heading to Denver and then Salt Lake City. Woot woot! She has the red jacket on today. She fancy. I only brought it because we're going to Salt Lake and it's going to be freezing. So I decided I should bring her because I don't want to freeze to death. Says somebody that lived in Minnesota like for a while and dealt with cold wind whipping by, but I cannot deal with anything below 70 degrees now. So when I say freezing, it's really only like 50, but it's still cold. So she, she needed a jacket, but 157 to Denver. And then we have a little bit of a sit and then um, we go to Salt Lake. Hey guys, in Denver, we uh, plane swap. We are on the airplane that has all the bins in the back, not the nice max aircraft. We are on a regular 800. So we are heading to Salt Lake, an hour and 12 minutes, I think he said. He said it's gonna be bumpy the entire time, and he doesn't know if we're gonna be able to get up and do service because it is going to be that extremely bumpy, I guess. So we will see, and yeah, um, when we get there, apparently our hotel has like a super good happy hour or something, and we get like a really good discount on top of already happy hour prices. So I guess, we will see if we are going to partake in that or not. But I gotta go because we are going to start boarding and I just wanted to come on here really quick and say hey and fill you in because I'm in the back. It's so exciting that I can actually talk to you guys and fill you in on our day to day. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It is dun, 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 4.49 a.m. I went to bed at like, I was in the bed. Like I had dinner and I did not have an eating bed. I only had a sleeping bed. I only had a king bed. But I had dinner um, at like six and I had my jammies on and everything ready for bed at 6.30. And I think I fell asleep at like maybe 7.15 at the latest. And I woke up at four. I was exhausted. These morning trips are no joke. And like today, it's 4.50 Salt Lake City time, because that's where we are right now. And we do three legs to Raleigh. Uh, we go here, Denver, Denver, Tampa, Tampa, Raleigh. So we hop from mountain to East Coast time real quick. And we don't get done in Raleigh until 5 p.m. And then tomorrow it switches to a p.m. We don't, we check in at like noon and we get back into Orlando at like, 7 30 p.m so tomorrow i'm looking forward to sleeping in and not setting you know setting a specific alarm for uh like super extremely early but our van is at 5 10. so yesterday we got here and the crew was saying that our hotel in salt lake they have a spa here and for ten dollars for crew members we can go in and use all the amenities so there was like a steam sauna and then like a hot 
um, dry sauna with like a salt wall and then there was a 17 head shower so I went in there and also their products smelled so good I went into the steam sauna and then I went into the dry sauna and then I was like, I really want to try this 17 head shower. I This is the one trip I did not bring a swimming suit for. I like literally always have it in my bag. There was like a hot tub and a nice pool and everything that we could also use. And I was so upset that I did not bring my swimming suit. Like I always have it. And I took it out this trip because I was like, I don't need it. It's a short overnight the first night. And then the next night it's Raleigh. I'm not going to be using it. Girl. Anyway. So... I just used the in the like lock the women's locker room amenities like the sauna and everything and then the shower I wasn't planning on washing my hair but this like the shower like the overhead one and then the the back ones and then the front ones and the side ones were all coming at me and I was like screw it we're just gonna wash our hair so I washed my hair with their products and my hair smells so good today and then it like put me in like this euphoric state and I think that's what made me super sleepy and like I came back to the room and I passed out so anyway that was my night last night but I am going to head downstairs I'm gonna make sure I have everything because we stay in like suites here and I like un like threw everything around last night when I came in here after work so i will see you guys on the airplane like i said three legs today salt lake denver denver tampa tampa raleigh hey guys in denver um heading to tampa i went off and i got a celsius but i was going to get a bagel but the line was like 40 deep so i guess i'm gonna stick with my oatmeal and my yogurt but we are going to tampa it's blocked for 3 30 i'm gonna say 305 I'll let you know what um if I was right or wrong on my guess we'll see Uh, captain gave us our flight time three hours however the little hurricane that was in New Orleans this week randomly moved to Tampa and we're literally going to Tampa so three hours and we are completely full we fit 175 and it's 174 so we are going to start boarding I just wanted to say hello and let you know we are uh, on our way to Tampa our alternate is Orlando though, in case if we can't get into Tampa due to the weather. And then also there's really bad storms over Raleigh, and we're going to Raleigh. <laughs> like, the two spots in the country where there's storms is literally where we're going to. Love that for us. Good morning everyone! We are in Raleigh heading on a three-leg adventure to Orlando. We go Raleigh, Baltimore, Baltimore, Atlanta, Atlanta, Orlando, and then we are home for a few days, and I am super excited to be home because on Monday, I think I'm going to post what is happening on Monday after this vlog because I want that vlog to go up first because it's super exciting, so I can already just tell you right now. So this is the past Lindsay talking to you like after this happens, but my company, my airline rented out Universal Studios, and they are having a spirit party for us at Universal, so it's just for employees, and I could bring a guest, so I am bringing Eddie, and we are going to have so much fun. We can ride rides, um, eat food, and all this stuff, so I cannot wait to vlog that and show you guys, but I'm very excited that it's happening in three days. My airline rented out the park for us. Everything is free. Butterbeer number two of the night. I'm allergic. Oh my god, look at all those cookies. Take it away, Aaron. But um, somebody asked me what this was, um, what this pin is that I wear on my uniform in a vlog a couple vlogs ago. Um, it is our union pin. This one is unique because it has different colors and I'm not really sure what this one means and I've asked like multiple people and no one seems to know it's like teal 
pink, blue, and purple. I, I don't know. Somebody said that it was for women something, something, something. I don't know. I don't know. But it broke and I'm so sad. So I am just going to keep it as like a keepsake and I'll just wear my other union pin. But we are allowed to wear our union pin. And then I have a bunch of pins, like funny pins on my apron that I wear. So anyway, uh, going on a three leg adventure, I have to head downstairs. Our van is in about 12 minutes and yeah, it's go home day. So let's do it. Cheers. It is an apple chai. I think that's what it's called. Oh, there's no sticker because he made it wrong. It's like on the menu. It's with like oat milk. It's like a non-dairy drink, but I get it with 2% milk because oat milk hurts my stomach. My friend Eric, I know you're watching, um, made me get it like a couple days ago and I tried it and I was like, it's really sweet. So I had them make it like not as sweet. I hate to admit it because I don't want to admit that he's right, but it's pretty good. Anyway, we are heading to Baltimore 45 minutes and we are pretty full on this flight. Um, next leg, we only have like 70 people and it's our longest leg for the day. I think it's blocked for like 120. And then we go to Orlando. 